And for the headlines, weather forecast, a low pressure area has been located around 1,170 kilometers east-northeast of extreme northern Luzon. Local news, the dormitory of family urged the AFP to establish a policy banning hazing at the PMA. The Comelec chief visited Cagayan de Oro for an anniversary event. COWD's regular management will now cooperate with the ELWA take over according the CANIO. A mental health advocate criticized Senate for handling the sexual harassment case involving Mulak. National News Sara Duterte and Riza Hontiveros had a heated exchange, with Duterte expressing her displeasure at Hontiveros' attitude. International News China asserts that the U.S. has no right to interfere in disputes over the South China Sea. Entertainment Sandro Mula addresses the accusations of sexual abuse. Sports Paris 2024 Ira Villegas determined to achieve more after winning Olympic bronze. International Feature Trump shared edited images suggesting Taylor Swift's support for him. National feature. Hontivero says Ghost Camp must prove she is still in the Philippines. Trivia. Fast train modeled after the Kingfisher. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community. Good morning, Philippines. Magana umaga Luzon ng mayo adlaw bisaya sa Mindanao. I am Athalia P. Saniel. Weather forecast. A low pressure area has been located around 1,170 kilometers east northeast of extreme northern Luzon. A low pressure area has been detected approximately 1,170 kilometers east northeast of extreme northern Luzon. This weather system could potentially bring cloudy skies and scattered rain showers to nearby areas. Additionally, the southwest monsoon, locally known as Sabagat, is currently affecting extreme northern Luzon. This monsoon typically brings heavy rainfall and gusty winds, particularly along with western sections of the area. Residents in the affected areas and regions should be alert for possible flooding, landslides and other weather-related hazards. Local news. The dormitory of family urged the AFP to establish a policy banning hazing at the PMA. The dormitory of family urged the leadership of the armed forces of the Philippines to enforce a strict policy that completely bans hazing within the Philippine Military Academy and other military facilities. This follows a previous statement by AFP Chief of Staff General Romeo Bronner Jr., who emphasized the need to 
eradicate hazing incidents at the PMA, where new cadets are often the victims. In an interview with Bombo Radio, Dexter Dormitorio, the brother of the late PMA cadet 4th class Darwin Dormitorio, expressed that General Bronner now has the opportunity to implement strong anti-hazing policies and hopes it will not be wasted. Their call for action underscores the broader issue of phasing in military institutions and seeks to prompt the AFP to take decisive steps towards creating a safer and more supportive environment for its trainings. The Comelec chief visited Cagayan de Oro for an anniversary event. Commission on Elections Chairman George Garcia is set to directly address the controversies against him and their agency tomorrow in relation to the preparations for the 2025 elections. This was confirmed by Comelec 10 Regional Director Attorney Renato Magbutay, who said that Garcia will visit the city. Magbutay mentioned that the official has no other engagements during his brief visit to the city, except for the celebration of the agency's anniversary. During the visit, the Comelec chief may have addressed various issues related to electoral reforms, updates on the electoral process, or initiatives aimed at improving voter engagement and election integrity. Such visits are often an opportunity for election officials to connect with the local communities, discuss progress, and reinforce the importance of a fair and transparent electoral system. POWD's regular management will now cooperate with the LWA takeover, according to Canyo. The regular board of directors has, for the first time, recognized the recent steps taken by the local water utilities administration in taking control of the Cagayan de Oro Water District by appointing interim officials for six months. This decision came after the U this decision came after the Office of the Government Corporate Council issued a legal opinion affirming the legality of LWAT actions and instructed the regular COWD management to comply with and respect it. Board member Dr. Jerry Canio mentioned that the regular management has agreed to respect and adhere to any measures that the LWA enforces through the interim board of directors and management. The cooperation involves aligning the, with LWAS directives and collaborating on necessary changes or improvements. Such takeovers are often aimed at the addressing operational challenges, improving service delivery, and ensuring more effective management of water resources. A mental health advocate criticized the Senate for handling the sexual harassment case involving Mula. A doctor and social media influencer criticized Senator Jingo Estrada for his handling of the sexual harassment investigation involving actor Sandra Mulak and two independent contractors from GMA7. Dr. Gary C. in a social media post argued that the senator's questioning was flawed and that Mulak's personal history should not have been made public as it could be dealt with in the court. Dr. C. also expressed concern that Estrada's irresponsible questioning might exacerbate Mulak's depression. Estrada is the co-chairman of the Senate Committee on Public Information and Mass Media. The advocate may argue that the Senate's procedures or responses lack sensitivity, fail to prioritize the well-being of victims, or do not ensure a through and just process. This criticism highlights the broader issue of how sensitive cases, especially those involving mental health and sexual harassment, are managed by legislative bodies and institutions.
international news. Sara Duterte and Riza Hontiveros had a heated exchange, with Duterte expressing her displeasure at Hontiveros' attitude. During a Senate Finance Committee hearing on the 2025 budget for the Office of the President, Vice President Sara Duterte and Senator Riza Hontiveros had a tense exchange. Hontiveros questioned Duterte about the OVP's budget and its overlap with other agencies' programs. Duterte responded that political biases influence past assistance, rejections from the DSWD. Hontiveros also asked about Duterte's children's book, which had a proposed budget of 10 million pesos. Duterte avoided the book question and accused Hontiveros of polit politizing the budget discussion. Hontiveros expressed frustration over Duterte's response, stating, I don't appreciate this kind of attitude. Duterte countered, I also don't understand Senator Hontiveros' behavior and do not appreciate this kind of attitude. International News China asserts that the U.S. has no right to interfere in disputes over the South China Sea. China warned the U.S. on Tuesday that it has, it has no right to intervene in its maritime disputes with the Philippines after another incident near a contested reef in the South China Sea. China and the Philippines have clashed multiple times in this area, including around the second Thomas Shoal, where a Philippine warship has been grounded since 1999. Recently, Coast Guard ships from both countries collided near Sabina Shoal. Despite an international ruling rejecting China's extensive claims, Beijing insists on its territorial rights. The U.S. condemned China's dangerous actions against the Philippines, but China defended its actions as legal and accused the U.S. of provoking regional tensions. This stance is part of a broader effort by China to assert its claims and resist international pressures or interventions, particularly from the U.S., which has been involved in freedom of navigation operations and has voiced support for Southeast Asian nations challenging China's extensive claims in the sea. Entertainment. Sandro Mulak addresses the accusations of sexual abuse. Actor Sandro Mulak revealed on Instagram that the alleged sexual abuse by two independent GMA7 contractors destroyed him. He filed a complaint with the Department of Justice against Jojo Nones and Richard Cruz, stating that the incident left him struggling with anxiety and PTSD. Mulak emphasized that he doesn't want others to go through what he experienced and is fighting for all victims of abuse. He also mentioned trying to stay strong for his family, especially his mother, who is in the U.S. and deeply affected by the situation. The accused have denied all allegations through their lawyer. Such situations often involve complex legal and personal dynamics and how they are handled can significantly affect public perception in the legal process. Sports Paris 2024 Ira Villegas determined to achieve more after winning Olympic bronze. Filipino boxer Ira Villegas overcame numerous injuries to secure a bronze medal at the 2024 Paris Olympics. According to ABAP Secretary General Marcus Manalo, Villegas dealt with shoulder tendinopathy, a mild ACL sprain, and compartment syndrome in her left foot, which kept her out of the ring until just a month before the competition. Her daily rehab and support from the ABAP Staff helped her surpass expectations in her Olympic debut. Following her Olympic success, 
Villegas is likely to be concentrating on refining her skills, setting new goals, and preparing for future competitions. Her determination showcases a strong drive to further her athletic career and possibly pursue higher accolades, demonstrating both her resilience and ambition in the world of sports. International feature Trump shared edited images suggesting Taylor Swift's support for him. Donald Trump shared doctored images on his social media platform suggesting that Taylor Swift and her fans support his presidential campaign. The images, some of which experts believe were AI-generated, depict Swift in an Uncle Sam outfit encouraging fans to vote for Trump, along with the photos of women wearing Swifties for Trump shirts. Swift has not publicly endorsed any candidate for the upcoming election and has previously criticized Trump. The post has drawn criticism and mockery from Swift's fans, with some urging her to take legal action. The use of such deceptive images can be part of broader misinformation campaigns or attempts to sway public opinion by misrepresenting individuals' beliefs and endorsements. National feature Hondivero says Go's camp must prove she is still in the Philippines. The camp of ousted Mayor Alice Go faces a tough challenge in proving she is still in the country, according to Senator Riza Hondiveros during a press conference on Tuesday. Hondiveros noted that the authorities from other countries have been providing corroborating information making it difficult for Goss Kam to insist that she remains in the Philippines. She emphasized that they will need to discredit credible sources to prove their claim. Go Wamping believed that to be Goss' real name is also suspected of being a Chinese national. Hontiveros' demand of proof of Goss' presence in the country may be linked to investigations or legal proceedings where Goss' location and participation are critical. This step is often necessary to ensure transparency and accountability, especially in complex cases involving public figures. Trivia Fast trade modeled after the Kingfisher the Shinkansen bullet train, traveling at 240-320 km per hour across Japan, carries millions of passengers annually. Initially, its high speeds caused an atmospheric pressure wave, resulting in a loud tunnel boom when exiting tunnels, disturbing residents. To solve this, engineers redesigned the train's front and to mimic the streamlined beak, of a kingfisher bird, which dives with minimal splash. This change reduced noise, eliminated the tunnel boom, and allowed the train to travel 10 times faster while using 15% less electricity. This design approach aims to reduce drag and improve the speed and energy efficiency of the train. The concept of biomimicry in engineering, where natural forms and functions inspire technological designs, has been applied to various innovations, including transportation. And that was the information we got from here and abroad. Keep listening and watching. Thank you very much. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community.